So I'm Alex Volchev, uh, developer, advocate lead with uh, data stacks and open source developer by my heart. The point of this talk is uh, having your data is not enough. Cassandra is great at handling petabytes of data very quickly, but this data is useless if we don't act on it. We need to understand the data, this data, and human brain is not so good in handling petabytes of rows, bits, and bytes. And we need to have something better. Uh, in order to react and understand, uh, I will use uh, Grafana. And Grafana is a totally great tool, but usually people think about it like something for um, administration, for metrics, for logs, for whatever happening with your system. And I do not mean metrics, I mean the data. It was the worst experience ever trying to explain to people what I don't mean, Cassandra metrics, but I more mean Cassandra data store it in it like your rows and partitions you create in it people think of grafana as the monitoring tool and that is totally wrong grafana can do much more i use grafana for a really long time and you can visualize uh, nearly everything with it with different types of a visualization and you can have an alerting so you can get notified if anything happens again i do not meet i do not mean and metrics, I mean data storage in the database, your IoT data. Then a few years ago, I needed to uh, visualize some data from my Cassandra. I thought it will be easy. Like I have Cassandra, I have Grafana, what can go wrong? Well, everything. Uh, at the moment, there were no visualization. So people were asking to migrate their data to InfluxDB to show the data in Grafana. That sounds totally crazy, right? So, uh, my story is when open source developer doesn't have an integration, he writes an integration. And now we have data source for Apache Cassandra in Grafana. Single one-click installation that takes uh, just a moment to install it. And we support Grafana version 7, 8, 9, so all, all long-term support uh, databases. Uh, visual configuration is going to be as simple as that. You just need to give some IP addresses and ports. And don't forget, you will need, uh, you better create read-only user because any Grafana admin will have access to those credentials, which may be a bad idea. So configure a dedicated user for this kind of uh, access. It's very important. Um, Next slide is coming, yeah. So a uh, very important thing for us is developer experience. Developer experience is like a user experience, but for developers developing something. Make it be comfortable. We take it very seriously. Me, uh, we, I mean me and a group of open source developers from all around the world uh, contribute to this project. Currently we count like three or four active maintainers and so basically, with the after suggestions, the configuration uh, is uh, simple as always, as simple as it should be. Uh, two ways to configure your things on how do you want to see your data. First one is a configurator. Configurator is very simple. Amount of use cases it supports is uh, limited. But then it just click, click, click with auto suggested fields. It's going to be a very simple experience. And uh, much more interesting for me is the uh, query editor. With query editor, you don't have how to suggest and things like that. Maybe we'll be developer deliver it in the future, but now you have to type it on your own. But cool thing, you have full direct access to the SQL as it's allowed to your Cassandra user you created before. And you basically can get whatever data you want to get and also using uh, Grafana features, you can transform this data, uh, build uh, some aggregations, uh, not only using uh, Graf Cassandra things, but user things, but uh, Grafana things, as well as Cassandra. And finally, alerting. Here you have an event triggered first in pending state, then in firing state. So you will be notified whatever by phone, Slack, or whatever you prefer if your data in your Cassandra change it. Alerting is one of the most important features for me. Next slide. Yeah, thank you. I'm not sure if it was five minutes, but I did my best. Uh, 
No worries, Alex. That was that was awesome. It's uh, it's really interesting to see how your plugin has grown over time. And uh, yeah, yeah, it, it, it kind of began as a this is a need out there, and then it became a this is part of their project, sort of, and then now it's like this is real. This is real. So um, really nice to, to have you on as well, Alex. At first, I wasn't sure what anyone except of me will use it. And now we have 60,000 downloads at Grafana. Uh, so it looks like people needed that. <laughs> <laughs> wow.